بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد الدعاء والسلاح المؤمن دعاء is a weapon for the believer we have been sent in this alam dunya to combat nafs shaitan the environment evil all the plotting and planning of battle and we will need a weapon in this battlefield of this world the primary weapon the powerful weapon is dua that's why the ummah should be making effort to strengthen the dua dua is an internal kayfiyat it is a connection is a direct line directly speed dial to allah So we need to get it right. Anything we need, ask Allah. Any zarurat, any need, any situation, any time, no matter what, where, when, how. So they say, before you ask for anything, first thank Allah for everything. Before you ask for anything, first thank thank Allah for everything. If we realize the bounties of Allah and we realize the Qudrat of Allah, we'll know who you asking. As he said, Allah is great enough to take care of your smallest needs. Allah is great enough to take care of your smallest needs. And He is great enough that your biggest needs are small for him. Your biggest needs are small for him. So in his Hadith Al-Qudsi where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing us, Ya Ibadi, O oh my beloved servants, Allah is addressing us with love, Inni harramtu dhulma ala nafsi wa ja'altuhu baynakum muharraman. I have prohibited oppression I've made injustice unlawful for you so do not oppress each other so if we had to make dhulam and oppression then there's an ishara and indication that forget the creation and oppressing each other the greatest oppression on earth is to oppress Allah by not turning to Allah and obeying Him. Ya ibadi, now listen properly, O my servants. Kullukum dhal illa man hadaydu. All of you are prone to making errors. All of you are astray, except the one who I guide. Fastahduni ahdikum. Seek hidayat from me. I will guide you. يا عبادي كلكم جائع إلا من أتعمت all of you are hungry except the one that I feed فاستطعموني أطعمكم seek food from me I will grant you provision يا عبادي كلكم عار إلا من كسوت all of you are unclothed except the one who I provide for فاستكسوني أكسكم seek clothing from me I will provide for you يا عبادي life telling us all your needs, turn to me, ask me, revert to me. إِنَّكُمْ تُخْتِئُونَ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ You even commit sins and you make guna and you perpetrate the awamir of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَنَا أَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا I am the one if you need مَغْفِرَةْ فَاسْتَغْفِرُونِي أَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ Repent to me, turn to me, I will forgive you, Ya Ibadi. And if you think so, you've got power. Listen to what I've just said. But if you're proud and you're arrogant, إِنَّكُمْ لَن تَبْلُغُ ضُرِّي فَتَذُرُّونِ If you're trying to harm me, you cannot harm me one bit. وَلَن تَبْلُغُ نَفْعِي فَتَنْفَعُونِ And if you're trying to benefit me, if you think so, you want to commit guna and commit guna, it's not going to harm me. If you think so, you're going to do good and it's going to benefit me, it's not going to benefit me. Listen well, ya ibadi, law anna awwalakum wa akhirakum, 
if the first of you the last of you wa in sakum jinnukum min jinnat kanu ala atqa qalbi rajulin wahidun minkum all of humanity insan jinnat become like the most pious person on earth muhaddithin explain if all of you had to become become like janabi rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ma zada dhalika fi mulki shay'a that would have not increased my domain and my sovereignty one but ya ibadi law anna awwalakum wa akhirakum wa insakum wa jinnakum kanu ala afjari qalbi rajulin wahidin minkum if all of you all of mankind jinn and ins become like iblis ma naqasa dhalika min mulki shay'a will not decrease my domain and sovereignty لسن ول يا عبادي لو ان اولكم واخركم وانسكم وجنكم قاموا في سعيد واحد يو اول جذر اون ون بلين فسالوني اسك اسك فلفل اول اوف يور نيدز فاعطيت كل انسان مسالته ال جرانت يو ديزايرز ما نقص ذلك مما عندي ذات ويل نوت ديكريز ماي تريجرز الا كما ينقص المخيط اذا ادخل البحر when a needle is placed in the ocean and there are droplets of water on that needle well, let me explain not even that amount will decrease from the khazan of allah wa kana abu idris when he used to narrate us jasa ala rukbatayhi he would sit up on his knees when imam ahmed bin hanbal rahmatullahi would narrate us narration he used to say laysa li ahli sha'm hadith ashraf min hadha al hadith there is no hadith for the people of sham more noble and more splendid than this narration allah is telling us to turn to him in all situations in all conditions making it clear that his treasures are unlimited law kan al bahru مدادا لكلمات ربي لنفد البحر if we had to convert the oceans into ink and the forest into pens the surface area of the planet 510 million square kilometers land area 148 million that's 29% water area 361 million square kilometers 71% of the earth is made up of water just the mariana trench is 36000 feet deep that combine all the water in the world that's 1 billion 386 million cubic kilometers 1 cubic kilometer is equal to 1 trillion liters an average ball point pen has 0.27 milliliters of ink which can write 4 to 5 kilometers long even every person writes what he currently writes 1 to 2 meters every day for 365 days it will last him 7 years which is approximately 45000 words la nafid al bahr قبل ان تنفد كلمات ربي ولو جئنا بمثله مددا bring an ocean bring a second ocean bring a third ocean bring oceans upon oceans that that will not make a difference in the greatness and in the azmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need to realize we've been sent with a responsibility to find this one Allah to recognize this one Allah and those that have found allah they had so will turn to dua in allah wa qala rabbukum ud'uni ask me turn to me astajib lakum i will accept your duas otherwise in alladhina yastakbirun that's a sign of pride and arrogance that you don't turn to allah dua is ibada in dua huwa al ibada افضل العباده الدعاء بس دعاء itself in itself is an ibada a form of worship قولوا الله اويد الرحمن 
ايما تدعو فله الاسماء الحسنى اسك الله ذس از از جريت الله ولله الاسماء الحسنى فادعوه بها الله از ذيس بيوتيفول نيمز ايتش نيم شوز ذا باور ذا بوتنشال ذا كاباسيتي ان يور ليميتد اندرستاندين سنت الله از سو ماتش صفات you should be turning to allah what darkness has overcome you overcome you ud'u rabbakum ask allah inna allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not incline to those people who are proud and arrogant wa idha sa'alaka ibadi anni fa inni qareeb when my servants ask about me tell them i'm close ujibu da'wat ad-da' the person who is turning to allah who is asking allah i am close i am nearby i am ready to accept ujibu da'wat ad-da' idha da'ani falyastajibu li so turn to this allah return to this allah focus on this allah you only have one chance one opportunity لا تعجزوا في الدعاء don't ever become lax helpless don't make your life redundant when you don't engage in dua fa innahu la yahlika ma'a dua ahad because no one will be destroyed through dua dua is the power of a believer hadith al qudsi ibn adam innaka ma da'awtani wa rajawtani whenever you ask me in you expect of me ghafartu lak ala ma kana minka wala ubali even the maghfirat of allah comes to the person who's asking allah because when you make a dua and allah wants to accept your dua you will wipe your slate clean so that you come into the royal court what an immaculate record ala adullukum ala ma yunjikum min aduwikum Besides that, du'a, Nabi Ali Salaam is telling us, should I not show you such a amal that will grant you protection, grant you victory over your enemies. Not only that, wa yudirru lakum arzaqakum, it will increase in your risk, abundance, plentiful, excess of risk. Tad'oon Allah fi laylikum wa naharikum. Ask Allah, cry to Allah, turn to Allah, focus on Allah. فَإِنَّ الدُّعَى سِلَاهُ الْمُؤْمِنِ Dua is a silah, it is a weapon for a believer. It will increase your risk, protect you from your enemies. All the solutions to every problem on earth lies in deen. We have the solutions, but we run in elsewhere. أن تفكون أن تسحرون أين تذهبون which jadu which black magic what has overcome you what has overwhelmed you you have forgotten your responsibility and your objective why Allah Jalla Jalaluhu has sent you into this world so whether we take our time every day start fix a place fix a time fix a duration. I am going to make dua to Allah this time of the night for so many minutes, five, ten, increase. Once we have istiqam at twenty, thirty, minimum at least every day, we should be making dua for an hour, turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Laysa shay akram ala Allah min dua There's nothing more noble, more esteemed, more pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than dua. It is imadu deen. It is a pillar of deen, like a big structure, a important pillar. If that pillar collapses, the entire building is in jeopardy. Wa nuru samawati wal ard. It is the nur of the heavens and the earth. So much nur. Dua is so important that the uh, leader of all amal is salah in the climax of salah is the qiyam position where we are reading to allah suratul fatiha 
ان ان سورة الفاتحة دا كراكسيز اهدنا الصراط المستقيم اولا قايدس جواس هدايت جواس دس نور صلاة زي دعاء الدعاء هو العبادة دعاء إز عبادة صلاة إز عبادة so much power that it can even avoid taqdeer, change taqdeer la yuhni hadrum min qadrin wa dua that if anybody wants to avoid taqdeer there's no options except dua yanfa'u mimma nazal wa mimma lam yanzil it'll benefit the one who has made this dua, what has descended and what that which has not descended. وَإِنَّ الْبَلَى لَيَنْزِلُ فَيَلْقَاهُ الدُّعَى فَيَأْتَ لِجَانِ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَمَةِ Thus dua and this calamity that's supposed to befall him in the heavens, they wrestle, they fight it out, till qiyamah your dua is stopping, preventing calamities, it is preventing epidemics, it is preventing halat and conditions. We've underestimated this weapon, this gift from Allah sallallahu min fadlihi. And when you ask as much as you can ask, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ أَنْ يُسْأَلَ Allah Jalla Jalalu loves, He thrives when His servants ask Him. And don't be in a rush, وَأَفْضُ الْعِبَادَ إِنْتِذَارُ الْفَرَجِ And the best ibadah is waiting. Why we in a rush for results from Allah? Don't we understand? Allah is Hakim, He is all wise. He knows when to send what for his banda. If we want goodness, we will be patient and we will not rush for our dua to be accepted. مَنْ فُتِحَ لَهُ مِنْكُمْ بَابُ الدُّعَى فُتِحَتْ لَهُ أَبْوَابُ الرَّحْمَةِ Because whoever has tawfiq and has been fortunate to be engaged in dua, then he has opened the door to Allah's mercy. He has opened the door to Allah's mercy. Inna dua yanfa'u mimma nazal wa mimma lam yanzil fa'alaykum ibad Allah bid dua. So my beloved servants, haste, rush towards dua, turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is the power of dua. Do not underestimate its capacity. If you have to beg, beg to Allah, turn to Allah, become antumul fuqara ilallah, become a beggar to Allah. Speaking about beggars, you say a person walked past a beggar, every day used to give him two dollars, for one year it continued, then he started after year one dollar fifty, and the beggar is thinking, you know, it's still better than nothing, then another year passes, a dollar becomes two dollars, one fifty now, one dollar. So the beggar asks him, what's going on? First two dollars and one fifty now, one dollar. Are you in any problems? The man says that my eldest son went to university, it was expensive, so I cut the fifty cents. Then my eldest daughter, a child went, my second child, so I had to cut expenses. So the man asked him, how many children do you have? The beggar asked the man, he said four. So the beggar said, well, I hope you don't plan to educate all of them at my expense. I hope you don't plan to educate all of them at the, my expense. So the people of the dunya will never be contented and the treasures will always finish and come to an end. The treasure of Allah will not end. The amal for today is that a person should not pluck the grey hairs. فَإِنَّهُ مَا مِنْ مُسْلِمٍ يَشِيبُ You should get grey hair in Islam. كانت له نورا يوم القيامة. That will be a nur for a person on the day of Qiyamah. 
كتب له بها حسنة رواجرة وحط عنه بها خطيئة. Any sense? Ah, forgive and wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.